this video I want to show you how you can make your own jack shaft for a motorized bicycle and uh, I want to explain a little bit how I did it and why. So first let's start with the why. As you can see on this bike I only have one main chain on the right side which is connecting the motor to the rear hub and also connecting the pedals to the rear hub. So what I'm trying to say is I don't like two chains like they usually come with these motorized bicycle kits. You have a chain on this on the left side. I didn't like two chains. Also, if I I thought if I connect if I connect the motor to this rear hub, I could use this rear hub to change the gearing and uh, I have a, so I basically have a gearbox connected to the motor. So I can change the internal gearing and the internal, yeah, I can change my max speed and low speed uh, while driving. This one is a gearless, it's a gearless uh, transmission. I don't know the English word, how you say it, but you change the, it's not gearing, but you change the ratio. Yeah, the ratio of input output. This one is called New Vinci N360, and it it has a it has a ratio you can put from 0 0.5 to 1.8. So that means you can go from 1 to 0 0.5 up to 1 to 1.8 so that means if you have an input of 1 what well that means on the on the what's it called uh, the, in Germany we say it's a, it is a sprocket on the sprocket of the hub you have an input of one rotation and if I put my gearbox on the lowest setting, I have an output on the hub. So the wheel is turning just one point, uh, 0 0.5 rotations. If I put my setting on the hub to the highest, uh, I have, uh, if I give an input of one rotation on the sprocket, the hub will actually turn 1.8 rotations. So that means I have a pretty big range. I tested it out on the lowest setting. My max speed with this motor is around 40 kilometers per hour. That means if I would go on one to one, the max speed would be 80 kilometers per hour and if I go 1 to 1.8 the max speed would be more than 100 max in this setting max speed would be more than 130 kilometers per hour I'm not going 130 kilometers per hour yet because the motor is is uh, too weak for this so right now I'm searching a little bit what can I do with this JD100 to tune a little more. Right now the top speed was around 75 km per hour. Okay, also I want to explain how I build it. So the, the, the main part of this jack shaft is this steel rod thing. You can see it here. It's out of a big machine and into this steel, let's say bushing or housing, let's say housing, uh, I put in two um, bearings on this side and on this side. I flattened, I flattened this side here. So this I filed away and I welded it directly to the frame. Yeah, I welded it directly. Before I made some some tests, 
I clamped it, uh, I had some special mechanism, mm -hmm. I welded on some clamping mechanism, but it all didn't, didn't work. It always twisted or, or broke, so I decided I welded it directly onto the frame. And since then I never had a problem with that. So, and within this shaft, or no, within this housing, there runs a shaft. And uh, yeah, let's, let's see. So we have the housing in the middle. Two bearings here. And through this, we have the shaft. And on the left side, so on this side, I just have one sprocket here. I can remove it or I can disassemble it. It is a normal, normal uh, bicycle sprocket. I welded on the normal bicycle, the le the yeah, the hub or the of a normal bicycle. I welded the shaft, and on the right side we have two sprockets. One here and one here and. The middle one is a, f a free wheel, so one direction is running free. You can see here, this one is running free. And uh, if I handling, it is connected to the rear hub. So, yeah, this one, this one is running a chain to the pedals. chain, also another sprocket to the belt. And this one, this sprocket here, the third one, it's fixed to the shaft. And this one is connected to the rear sprocket of the hub. So that, and now you can maybe see, so this is the hub here, the rear hub. And uh, yeah, it's connected by a chain. And if I put in here, let's say one rotation, so this one is turning one rotation, I have my gearless hub on the lowest setting. This hub and the wheel will just turn 0 0.5 rotations on the lowest setting. If I put it on the highest setting, I, I put in one rotation and the hub will actually turn 1.8 rotations. In the beginning I was a little bit worried if this hub is strong enough for the motor and uh, I'm running it since two or three years, I, I never had a problem. I measured the temperature, in the winter it's around 30 degrees Celsius, in the summertime it's maximum 60 or 70 degrees. That means you can barely touch it by hand. Uh, it's getting quite hot. Temperature in the winter, it's around 30 degrees Celsius. In the summertime, it's maximum 60 or 70 degrees. That means you can barely touch it by hand. Uh, it's getting quite hot. I think there is running oil inside, but I never checked. Uh, I never checked that. So what else can I say to this, uh, to this, yeah, maybe one downside or well, some downsides I could, I could see. For example, this chain here connecting the motor to the jack shaft. I cannot change the distance here. I can just change, I can just change this sprocket. Yeah, you can lose it. You can see here I can lose this spring ring and then I can disassemble the, the whole thing. Yeah, what I would improve is I would put a chain tensioner. I would put a chain tensioner uh, on here. Right now, if the chain gets too loose, 
I I have to choose the next bigger sprocket. So right now this is maybe 20 22s. I would change I would change to 21. I would have a little more tension here. Yeah. Also on all my change all my chains I'm not running any I'm not running any lubricant just dry chain lubricant it's called that's why from time to time they get longer yeah. what else can I say to this mechanism here ah yeah I want to show you I want to show you how to change the ratio so this whole thing here is uh, this part here this part is originally from New Vinci and uh, I just put on the the grip from my old bicycle and it has two bounding cables going to the to the right side of of the hub so if I change the handle grip here I change the ratio I always started uh, by foot actually I take the bike lift the rear the rear end and the rear wheel I disengage the clutch and get a little throttle and then <laughs> Maybe I explained a little bit too bad or it's a little bit confusing. I will try to explain it a little better with another example of a car. A car engine and a car gearbox. It's the same principle. For example, on the car you have also these numbers. You, can, you also use similar numbers. So you have your motor in the car. Then you have your gearbox going to the rear differential, going to the axles and the wheels, the rear wheels. So for example, I know in my car, an old BMW, I have four gears, one, two, three, four, and I know the fourth gear has a ratio of one to one. That means if the crankshaft of the motor is doing one rotation, also the output of the gearbox is also one rotation on the this shaft here. I don't know the English name, what's it called? I don't know. In Germany we say Karandele. So one to one in the fourth gear. In the first gear, it's probably around four to one or four to one or maybe five to one. That means the engine has to do five rotations to make this shaft do one rotation. That gives it the higher torque. Second gear is maybe 2.5 to one. Third gear I'm just guessing maybe 1.7 to 1. So this is pretty similar to this bike actually. The input and output. Yeah. So and this range here is actually I think what made them call it 360. 360 is because I think uh, yeah, it's how to say. Yeah. If I convert it, let's say I do two, two. So if I do two rotations, it's from two to one, up to two 
to 3.6. So that's why I think they called it, I'm not sure, but I think they called it 360. Maybe because it sounds good, or I don't know. So the range of motion is 360 or 3.6. The range of motion, or the, not, not range of motion, but range of gears or ratios. The range, range of ratios, maybe the right word, is 3.6. And in this car, it would be 4. Yeah, that's it. I see. I'm just half guessing, but I think that's the principle. 